Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Again with you, Omar from Brownsburg More Sports, and today we have a 2017 Chevrolet Equinox, and we're gonna be showing you the step-by-step -step on how to remove the replacement of the blower motor fan on this car. This process will apply to all Chevy Equinox from 2010 until 2017, no matter what the trim is or the engine size or whether it's front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. So stay tuned. All right, back over here on the passenger side, uh, front. First, we have to remove this cover. There is a seven millimeter bolt over here or a screw, looks like that. There is another one on this side and there is another one right over here. If you can see it, let me switch the camera a little bit. Kind of move it. Now the angle is not perfect, but it's gonna be located right over here. So once you get those off, this is gonna fall down like this. I just pulled it towards me and then lowered it. Uh, the next step would be we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the lower uh, blower motor fan connector. I already done that. Uh, this is what the connector looks like. Let me show you. Move the camera a little bit. That's what the connector looks like. It's gonna be it's gonna be installed like this. There we go. Let me show you. And we're basically just gonna push that tab, push that tab up, and slide the connector out. Next, we have uh, three uh, Phillips head screws uh, that holds the blower motor fan. So I removed the first one already, which is that one right there. Second one, I'm gonna need my stubby socket. There we go. And there's a third one in the back. So let me see if I can see it. So if I can show you guys where this is located. So that's the first one over there. Second one is the one I just removed or just started or removing, which is that one right there. And then the third one, in the back over there, if you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these three and uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, before removing the blower motor fan, there is this harness that's attached to it on the side. I'm just gonna use my uh, clip remover and see if I can just push it out. There we go. Now it's out of the way. Let's see if we can lower my blower motor fan. And that right there, oh my god. <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe this. So this is <laughs> what's in the blower motor fan. I'm guessing a squirrel uh, got into the car somehow. And uh, that's what caused the vibration that we felt. So I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna install it and I'm gonna check if it's gonna work properly. All right, as you can see, <clears throat> when I had to clean it up, one way to figure out if the blower motor fan bearing is bad or no is to hold it and kind of just like twist it back and forth and if the operation is like really smooth and it's not you don't feel like any grinding noise or like anything grinding inside then as far as the fan bearing it should be good uh, but if the fan of the motor is itself is bad then obviously you're gonna need to replace it uh, stay with me i'm gonna go ahead and install this back <clears throat> we gotta make sure we install it back in the same position the harness is far and it's not on the way and the connector as well and then, there we go there we go the bolts All right, now before uh, we put everything back together, I just secured the uh, blower motor fan and the connector for it. I'm gonna turn on the ignition and 
the start the fan and see if we're gonna get any vibration in the dashboard on high speed. Now that we made sure everything is good, it is safe to put. go ahead and put everything back together. I got my 7mm, I'm gonna use my uh, gun over here, get the 7mm bolts. That's one right there, second one is right here. Lastly, is the one out back, and I'm gonna try and show you guys where the one out in the back was located. It was located really right there. Oops. <laughs> and honestly, I did not need a tool to untighten it, so uh, to uh, open it earlier. So I'm just gonna tie it with my hand all the way, because it seemed like the housing was plastic behind it. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video everyone that sums up the uh, procedure uh, and the video for today if you guys have any questions or absolutely any concerns or recommendations please make sure you drop them in the comment section below and as always make sure to subscribe and follow for more